Hey guys. Bon dia. Look what's behind us here. The island of Saint George. Look it's at a, that. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Can anybody recognize this here? Let's see. I'll give you a few seconds. Basha. Hiberinga Basha. We've been dying to come here. We actually came here when it was raining. We were going to film and it was raining. Okay. And so we didn't do a lot of filming. Actually, we didn't do any filming. And we said, okay, let's go back uh, when it's nice and sunny. We also wanted to visit um, a few friends down here that we have. They actually, one of them lives in, uh, in Canada as well. His name is Joe Lino, Celino. He's married to a good friend of mine, Patricia. Anyways, uh, he lives here. We're going to do a quick visit afterwards. But right now, we're going to um, take advantage of the beautiful sunny day. Yeah, and it's, it is a beautiful sunny day. And yeah, like Carlos said, it's a really cute area. We actually stopped and went into a little... Uh, craft house isn't yeah. that pretty yeah and the drive here never gets we never get sick of it no All there's right. always something new right like we said always something new to uh explore yeah so we're going to show you around so this video is about the basha this uh, seaside area uh, the seaside area of hiberinga and uh it's about i think took us what 15 minutes from lush now we did stop along the way but without stopping i think about 15 minutes and uh, we basically pass uh, places uh, Ribeiras, like Santa Barbara, Santa Cruz, Pontes Negras. Uh, we also pa pass uh, Calheta, and uh, yeah, now we're here by the, the coast here. This is a, a little aldea, they call it, village uh, of Baixa, okay? You can go swimming, there's a port here. Um, you can, there's fishing, you can go fishing from the port, take out your boats. But it's just a cottage area, a lot of, it's a beautiful community here. I'm sure there's immigrants that have houses here, probably expats, and just people that wanna have their little uh, home away from home. I know that our friend here built his own, and it's gorgeous. So uh, anyways, we're gonna go down and check out every, the whole area down here, and see uh, and show you guys, okay? Yeah, we'll see All you right. down there. Alright guys, we uh, parked the car and we stopped. We're going to walk down to the port where you can go swimming. It's uh, a little windy today, so hopefully the muffler is working. Seem to be having uh, quite a few of those days with the wind. Yeah, you just got to take what it comes and uh, it's still pretty wild down here. These but little communities, these little villages throughout the island, it's just, I love them. Yeah, look at this view guys. And the water is so blue, a little choppy, but beautiful. <laughs> Carlos is leaving me. <laughs> You're gonna make me walk all the way down the hill? That's not fair. Can you imagine having a house here? <laughs> Overlooking this beautiful water and a view of Saint George in the forefront there. Barely make it out, it's a little bit uh, hazy. This is one of my favorite plants, and I plant this in the garden and Apparently they grow very well 
and they spread very quickly. You can see the little ones here. I have to figure out what uh, the name of this plant is. Seem to have lost Carlos. Oh, there he is, right around the corner, taking some pictures. I'm really hoping that this muffler is working, guys. It's nothing more irritating than having this noise on the video. But look at this. It's such a nice feeling when you can get up on a Sunday morning and drive down to a place you haven't really explored yet. And there's just so many things to look at. The ocean and the plants and the flowers. So relaxing. Yeah, check out this. This is a house here. Ooh. A little balcony in the front. Nice house here, too. Let's see if I can get a shot of the front here of this house. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Can you guys see that? There's all these little houses attached together. Wow, what a view they have every morning. I just noticed this painting on the wall. One thing I noticed that a lot of people here in Portugal are so creative. There's like little watering holes that you can go swimming. Do a little bit of a close up so you can see. Is that pretty? Can't wait to go swimming again. A little too cold for me to go right now. like there's a little bit of a barbecue area here. Oh, and look at this, guys. Here's uh, what you call a trail marker. So you can actually go up these stairs. wonder where they take you. Maybe I have to go up there. Here, let's go up and see what's around the corner. To be careful if <laughs> I'm filming and trying to walk up these stone stairs. Wow, look at this. This is like a little fairy tale cottage.
so I hope you're enjoying this uh, video here at Basha. Um, this is just one other amazing spot on the island of Pico. So anyone visiting, uh, doesn't matter what side of the island you're on, you got to get in the car and you got to come and visit this spot. Just come for the day. Uh, cute little areas you, you saw. There's this nice cute little port, swimming area. There's bathrooms. It's just a dramatic. I mean, the coastline here is just outstanding. And it's just one of many, I guess. I mean, it's hard to even pick a favorite, on, honestly. And we, we're just discovering it. We didn't, uh, I, I wasn't, to be honest, we, I wasn't that familiar with this area. Um, but I definitely would come back and visit. I mean, it's one of those gems, you know, like a few other ones, like Biedishkanej and uh, the, the part of Lajidu and Shikashoho, you know. And there's it's just so many to mention, honestly. I don't want to leave one out and someone from that area is kind of, hey, you didn't mention this here. We're going to try and show more of this sort of thing. Wow, let's let's lower. Let's let's. What are you doing up? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm actually filming inside this ruin, overlooking the little port here, because it's the only place that there is no wind. Because right now we're on the coast, so the wind's coming from that side, and it's banging here. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it's just not a lot to say, except to you know, just the visuals. Uh, obviously, the best way to really experience Pico and the Azores is to visit. There's no other way to do it. I kind of discourage people that think they can discover any of these islands in a day or two. You got to spend more time. Obviously, everyone's different, but uh, this is just uh, a day here. You can spend a day here. So if you're on Pico for just driving around the island, you're going to miss uh, experiencing these spots. And there's beautiful lava holes here too to swim in by the port, uh, which gives a little bit more protection. And uh, yeah, so uh, we hope you're enjoying the video. an amazing lunch with our uh, friend Joe. Not the Joe that lives behind our house in Cemetery, another Joe. He has a beautiful house. Actually it's him and his wife uh, Patricia that own this beautiful house um, and he did it all himself. I mean it's incredible. Fireplace, the living room, they've got the kitchen and then they have this beautiful loft when you go up the stairs uh, it's just so cute and just the detail that they did on this house with the brick and it's actually uh, they use a styrofoam and a cement um, to create this stone like texture on the pavements and also the any of the um, the brickwork that they did on the house. Uh, it's just it's stunning and even the woodwork in the ceiling it's all the original. Um, just amazing. So we hope you uh, enjoyed spending a little bit of time with us here in this beautiful area of Pico called the Basha, Ribeirinha. It was a beautiful little village. Yeah, and the bonus was uh, actually uh, meeting up with Joe, and he's from this area, and we got to meet some of uh, his uh, family as well. Uh, just a beautiful spot, and I think we're going to, can't wait to come back again and visit. And But hopefully you guys enjoyed just hanging out with us and checking out this area, and when you uh, come to the Pico, you have to come by here. Take our word for it and just uh, take your time, spend a day in this area, the Basha, and I think uh, 
you won't regret it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. All right. See you guys. Ciao. So we're just driving uh, around here. There's some areas we haven't, we've never driven, right? Yeah. And this spot here kind of caught us. We had to pull over. We're a little bit higher up. There's a bit of wind. You might hear it. Uh, and we just uh, in, a, in a impromptu stop. Yes. Because it's a beautiful view of so George uh, across the water. And the water is so blue against the green grass, the hills here. Yeah, this is just Amazing. above. It's above Ribeirinha, Basha, right? And it's just so peaceful up here. It's just a, it, We always like going through an area where we haven't been. We kind of just yeah. pull over. And we felt, you know, let's put this on film because, you know, this is what these islands are all about. I actually and did a quick uh, time lapse. Did you? See the, the way the that. clouds move and you can see the shadows on the on the hills. Wow, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, obviously we've probably talked like this in other places around Pico. And if you're on another island of the Azores, you, you, you'd be feeling like we are. And uh, it's, uh, we, we like to sort of pass on these feelings that we get and sometimes we're not filming. And, and, and this time it happens that we have the camera close by and you know we want to put this on film right yeah. and if you really want to experience this guys you got to come here you got to come here <laughs> and you got to get away from wherever you're staying you know it's uh just take a drive you don't have to do be doing any major activities but uh look yeah. and if you do want to come you can contact us we'll have our yeah, contact true. info that's a bit of a plug of video that was a bit of a well, plug we do have to do a plug yeah we rarely do plugs but uh no i mean obviously we, we love the comments that we get so you know if you have a question about the island about anything anything do, yeah uh, to do with visiting or living here obviously you could always send me a comment no problem and but right now this is all about what's behind us here and this is an inclined road it's a lookout and you can just see what uh, this sort of uh, is all over the island this represents the azores i think this greenery and the blue right yeah and actually there was a gentleman that was going by on a tractor and he's looking at me he's going boa vista boa vista yeah you didn't know what that was until i told you it's a beautiful view and <laughs> I, I knew said, it was a beautiful <laughs> yeah beautiful <laughs> view, view. yes yeah so it is so now you guys come over you know uh, whoever if you're not from pico if you're visiting if you're here if you're from pico and never been to these areas as much as uh, the obviously we haven't spent a lot of time here and i uh yeah i'm glad we have uh, spent the whole day here pretty yes. much today right and i i think well we did end the video but then <laughs> we're gonna end it again <laughs> yeah we're gonna we really had to show you this yeah spot, so it'll be so. two endings to this yeah, video two endings. <laughs> just to show you that sometimes it's just like we don't know what's around the next corner right yeah so, so you, do do a, a double like a double, double subscribe like, yeah. and a double comment <laughs> yeah this is the first i think the first vlog out of about 90 that we've done two endings yeah <laughs> but it's worth it right so anyways we'll see you on the next video yeah see you guys is, is this going to be the last one yes yes all right so hope you guys enjoyed it ciao